It's no surprise that many of you have known about the great collision of a meteorite on Earth that wiped out most of Earth's biodiversity. But little did most of you know that there are animals that resorted to a very unusual alternative just to survive and conquer mass extinction. This might sound brutal and barbaric, but I am referring to killing your own kind. Yep, cannibalism. Welcome to Top Feed. First, click the subscribe button and let's dive into the mystery of monitor lizards and their weird taste for food when scarcity demands. One of the notorious creatures that surpassed this crisis is the monitor lizard. Of the many ways they tried just so they can thrive, they have gone as far as cannibalism. Many of them began to exterminate each other to survive. This might be the case for wild animals, but some groups of people also do the same but for a weird reason. Superstitious people tend to fall for the assumption that eating their kind will give them unexplainable powers. This foolish supposition even gave birth to the term sympathetic magic. People with the same thinking in the past believe that if you snack on a nightingale, you can stay awake at night and even for quite a long time. If your eyesight is ruined, you only need to smear eagle bile in your eyes and then you'll start to see things as sharp as an eagle sight. If sympathetic magic is real, all of us could have acquired tremendous superpowers like that of wild beasts. Unfortunately, those are only irrational beliefs with no single scientific basis. Wild animals that do this for survival actually suffer from a bunch of problems. For one, they need to spend much more energy than one they actually hunt normally. Imagine a lion that feeds on other lions instead of antelopes. Of course, it would get a little bit hard to compete and outdo other equally competitive predators, so there might also be a chance that he'll get eaten. But the biggest disadvantage of cannibalism is that it might lead to the inability to distinguish which is food and which is family. The idea of cannibalism takes away the main goal of leaving offspring and passing its genes for the next generation. In other words, it breaks the very nature of animals to reproduce and populate. You're given with just a single task of catapulting offspring, but you still fail to do so just because you got a sudden feeling of hunger. And that's pretty problematic, don't you think? The same case happened with chickens in the early 20th century. This unforgettable event led to the mass production of chicken eyeglasses, which you might think is foolish. Well, many farmers bought these accessories for their chickens anyway. They weren't glasses that would help chickens see much better, it looks like sunglasses, but it doesn't protect the chicken from the sun. You might also think it's a fashion trend, but wait, for chickens? Is this for real? Well, it did actually happen. Based on history, it was an attempt to solve the problem of chicken cannibalism. Birds behave more or less normally in the wild or inside a small chicken coop. In a flock of birds, gentle pecking is considered a normal behavior used by dominant individuals as a way of reminding everyone around them who is the boss. However, this doesn't work out well especially when thousands of birds are contained in one place. As a result, several of the inferior birds are simply eaten. It was then suggested to put rose-colored glasses on the chickens to avoid this. This solution is supposed to trick chickens from seeing blood and stop them from going crazy. Cannibalism is one of the many potential reasons that may cause species extinction, but aside from animal cannibalism, other reasons may also foster the progression of animal extinction. A few of them are parasites, viruses, and other sources of disease. They use such failures in the system as a way to infect, and they know how to wait and make someone critical. This is the cause of the global pandemic that we are facing today caused by the COVID-19 virus. You probably don't know of this, but even before, contagious diseases were also existent like the Spanish flu epidemic in the early 20th century, which led to millions of deaths. But enough with pandemic and contagious diseases for now, and let's go back to cannibalism. What's the point of eating your own kind? Do you have any ideas this time? Well, facts about cannibalism reveal that animals get much more problems than they benefit from eating their own kind. Other animals, like lizards, are capable of regeneration. This is commonly observed in their tails when they lose one. Most of the time, they use it as a scapegoat to trick predators and their tail is also a source of healthy fats. Some lizards even use it as a kind of storage, so there's no point in just losing their tail to carry with them a convenient snack whenever they feel like eating. 
In the case of Komodo dragons, they prefer to eat, not their tails, but adults of their own kind. Some suspect that may be due to their varying sizes, but everything is much more complicated. It's more like a mechanism of nature to keep the population of these vicious predators in check. Despite all of this, it doesn't necessarily mean the inferiors wanted to become a food resource, nor do they want to sacrifice their babies. This is the reason why there is a concept of evolution to prevent imbalance in the ecosystem. And throughout time, the vulnerable develop defense mechanisms to thrive and survive threats. And that's all for today. Got something to share about cannibalism or facts about Komodo dragons? Just drop it in the comment section down below. If you like this episode, please click the like and share button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. See you next time on Top Feed.